Well, that oh, I couldn't make a stable dog donor anyway. You can't say that I didn't try. Uh, I figured that some of you might want to know where I found the pigment. So I figured at the end of the video here, I'll do a real quick uh, run through, rundown of uh, where I got some of these pigments from. This bright yellow here is actually out of our creek. Uh, we have a lot of good coloring rocks in our creek. This really nice purple rock is from a vein of purple clay in our creek um, this white you find a lot of whites in our creek here it works really good um, this is from the Oregon coast it's whatever color you want to call it reddish orange of course that's just charcoal uh, this is some uh, serpentine clay uh, over at the over down south, southern Oregon. This is from uh, southern Oregon also. It's the green. It's the only. It's the greeny, greenish, most greeny green I have ever seen. Ha! <laughs> that rhymes. Anyhow, I mean it is a full blown green from a from a rock. We looked in the creek and we looked for more and we could not find any. It was like two rock, two little pebbles of this. And this is green, and as green as can be. This uh, reddish here is um, up the North Umpqua. It's a really cool red. Friends and I found it. It actually has a really neat sheen to it. Really, really neat stuff. Not very much of that either. And that about concludes it. There's just a variety of colors. I like to, I like to take and make a little a stripe of whatever color I'm using, um, and uh, let it dry because when it's wet, it's totally different color than when it's dry. So of course your final product is going to be dry. So if I want to know what color it is. I can just look here and pick which color I want. Um, 
and my sticks I just broke off little pieces of alder and just ground them on the stones here like this just to fluff up the ends and uh, so now the so now the ends are more fluffy and they'll absorb some of the pigments <clears throat> the wet pigments into it and I use that to paint with different sizes for some of the stripes I'll use I don't know what I did with it there some of the stripes I'll just use a thin stick <clears throat> or actually part of a leaf but anyhow that's my uh, artist gear <laughs> oh this one this one I can't remember where I got that one from but it's a really bright red I like it I really like this one. It's kind of a bright orangish red. I'm gonna say I found this in the creek. It's fun experimenting with different pigments that we find to go around. Whenever I'm up in the woods or out and about or whatever, I'm always I've always got my eyes open for different colors that we see. Well, I hope you enjoyed painting with pigments, coloring our happy whatever they are. Anyways, hope you enjoyed coloring with pigments, natural primitive pigment.